Sevens is a game that is all out attack all of the time. So this week we have delved deep into the stat bunker to look at the origin of tries from the series so far. Now by origin we mean two things, the type of possession and starting position of the tries scored. This graphic shows the tries scored in the zones of origin playing left to right. Now we can see zones 1 to 3 or an attacker's own 22 accounts for just over half of the tries than the defender's own 22, which is sometimes known as the red zone. So zone two accounts for just over 3% of all the tries scored in the series so far, six times less than that of zone eight. Across the series, a third of all tries originate from penalties, more than double that of any other starter play. There's a perfect example now, of Sam Dixon starting from a penalty in zone two. New Zealand, current series leader, go to what they know. Big physical players take it on the South Africans and Mickelson finds a way of exploiting a bit of space through Newstub getting it out wide. As soon as the contact is made, Ravuvu uses his nous to get back outside to pick off the space down that far channel, engages the inside sweeper and perhaps somewhat speculatively manages to get the ball back inside, which ends up in a try for Weber. But it just shows how crucial territory can be in this game. This next clip is a different type of possession in a different field position and shows exactly why territory is coming more into the game. The origin is in the red zone. So New Zealand's attacking scrum, which is a real weapon for them, gives their backs an opportunity to isolate the Argentinian defenders. Newsom gets the ball and sees that both Etchart and Sabato are very tight and Regan Ware, like all good coaches suggest, stays nice and wide in the five metre line, which gives Malia opportunity to square his man up. He does it wonderfully. Get on the outside, Sabato has to step in, which leaves it all too easy for wear out wide. 20 out of 41 of New Zealand's tries this series have originated from both scrums and penalties, or dead ball situations. But with the likes of Villa McElroy on the pitch, it's not just dead ball that they're lethal. Australia, trying to find a bit of space, get a little bit isolated, and the big physical New Zealand players identify that Stannard's trying to secure the ball. They blow past him, get the turnover, and then it's time for Kuroi to show his skills. Porch and Anderson are trying to react to the big space in between them. Kuroi knows there's space there, and such is his footwork and ability. He asks questions of their defence, and that is the outcome. A nice stroll in from one of the most impressive players on the series this year. So there we've seen some clips and tries from the series leading New Zealand team. One thing is for certain, they are top of the tree because they can score from any position with any type of possession.